going from antichrist to human being is a lot easier than going from antichrist to saint. I'm not asking for the impossible here, guys, okay? I know what's reasonable. I also know that no one's watching this, but you know what? Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Knit Talk, a series no one asked for in which I knit and talk. Honestly, I could just do this like a regular sit down and talk video like a normal person, but I get really awkward when I have nothing to do except talk. Also, knitting is more fun when you have something to do that isn't knitting. So I thought, isn't this just the perfect idea? So today we're going to talk about being kind as a concept. I have lately been thinking about just what being kind means and what being mean means and what qualifies as being an asshole. Especially now that autumn is coming, the cold weather is about to set in, it's important that we not make the world an even colder place by being shitty and just overall bad human beings. How are we not bad human beings? <laughs> I know from personal experience that it's very easy to look at something and say <laughs> that sucks or say that you know what I hate this or just laugh at something. Like for example if someone is dancing and maybe they're not objectively very good at dancing so you might get the urge to laugh at this person or point out that oh my god look that person sucks at dancing you know i used to be one of these who were like oh my god oh my god that's so embarrassing oh my god what was like stop what the hell i was one of those people those really really annoying people and maybe to a certain point i still am but i'm working on it however i realized what's the fucking point of doing that what, what is the point? The best thing that can come out of it is that you make someone really sad, you make someone give up on something that they enjoy doing, you ruin their confidence, and perhaps you won't have to see it again. That is the best thing that will happen. However, you can also stop seeing that if you encourage the person so that they will keep doing it, and keep getting better at it. Do you see my point? Yeah. Instead of putting people down for being bad at something, why don't we encourage them to get better in a positive enforcing way and not a negative way? Because not no one is good at something from the get-go. That's just not a thing. Or like maybe you're good at something, you're naturally good at some things, but you won't be good at everything. And maybe dancing isn't this person's natural thing. Maybe their natural thing is maths. Are you good at maths? Are you really? Really? I don't think so. No one is truly good at maths except for this bad dancing person who won't be dancing badly for much longer because you're gonna encourage them and help them and give them a self-confidence boost and all that shit. You know, it's so easy to just say that Oh, this is bad. You're doing something that's, that's not good or you're laughing at someone. But it's so much easier to just say, you know what, I'm sure they're enjoying what they're doing. And then move on. It's so exhausting to feel hate and judgment. It's so much easier to just say, okay and then leave. You're like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's not my cup of tea, but you know, and then just leave. You don't have to judge people. Like, okay, like this. If someone's doing something and it doesn't hurt you, and it doesn't hurt the, the person doing it, why, why do you care? Like, if you can, just walk away from it, then why don't you? If something's making you uncomfortable or if something makes you feel a little queasy or you just straight up don't like something then no one is stopping you from leaving and if they are stopping you from leaving then I would say 
you have a valid excuse for not liking it because it's actively stopping you from doing what you want to do. Let people enjoy shit and let people be bad at shit. It's not that hard to be a decent human being. I'm not saying you have to help every old man cross the street and help every struggling person carry their bag up the stairs. I'm just saying maybe not like laugh at them or make them feel like they're stupid or make them feel like they're doing something wrong. I'm not saying you need to be a saint. I'm not a saint. Dear Lord, I am not a saint. But you don't have to be devil incarnate. You know, you see the difference? Just try, you know? And honestly, breaking habits, like talking shit about people behind their backs, can be hard. Because if your first instinct has been to say, oh my god, did you see Janet's shoes? They're so ugly. It's gonna take a while for you to say, you know what? Janet wore some very interesting shoes today. I wouldn't personally wear them, but I'm sure she enjoyed them a lot. Going between those two takes practice and time, but once you get there, boy does it feel good. It's not that fucking hard to be a decent person. Like being, being a good saint-like person is incredibly hard and very energy and time consuming and takes a lot of practice and probably a lot of time spent with a therapist. Being a decent person, being not an asshole, just giving a fuck every now and then won't hurt you, isn't that hard. It's really more of a not doing something than doing something if you're trying to go from asshole to decent. Just instead of pointing out something you don't like, just don't say anything, you know? You know? You don't have to be the best person on the face of the planet to do good things. I don't really know where I'm going with this, with this rant, because that's truly what this is, I'm just ranting. But I think what I'm saying is, I've gone from point A to point B, from asshole to decent, and now I see the assholery in other people a lot better. And it makes me so sad and frustrated that people spend their energy on bringing people down. Like you could spend your energy on such productive things, but instead you're just hating. And why? Why? I'm frustrated both because it's mean and unnecessary, but also it's just stupid. Like, why are you wasting your time? Just don't waste your time. Ugh. And also, just because you don't like someone or someone did something problematic doesn't mean you get to disrespect them. They're still a human being and they can be an asshole and they can be extremely problematic, but they still have human rights. And I know that can be hard to um, accept. But for example, someone being problematic doesn't give you the right to ignore their pronouns or excuse their behavior on their race or their orientation or anything else for that matter. Someone being an asshole doesn't give you the right to also be an asshole. Two wrongs do after all not make one right. Keep that in mind kids. I also don't know why I'm saying kids when I'm calling everyone kids because I am a kid. It's me. I'm the kid. I'm just talking to myself. That is what I'm doing after all. That is exactly what I'm doing. I am talking to myself. Oh god. Also, if you're wondering, I'm making a scarf because right now I don't have the energy to do anything that needs more brain power than a scarf. Also, the five minute rule. If someone can't change something with their appearance in less than five minutes, like for example, their eyeliner is a little smudged, maybe they can just like fix it, or they have uh, lipstick on their teeth, or their shirt is sticking out. If it takes less than five minutes to fix, then go ahead and tell someone that, hey, you have lipstick on your teeth.
they can't fix it just like that. So what the hell are they gonna do with that? What, why, why are you telling them? It's useless. Also, wasting your time and energy. You s wasted strength on opening your mouth that you could have used to giving them a compliment. They know their tooth is crooked. Why are you telling them? It won't make it disappear. If you don't like looking at it, then don't look at it. Like, get some manners. It's not that hard. Again, being decent is sometimes just not being an asshole. You just have to not say the stupid thing. You don't have to shower the person in compliments. You just have to not say that, hey, your tooth is really crooked. Ugh. a rant wasn't it yeah i think that's all i had for you for today there are flies everywhere in this apartment i am going crazy yeah i'll just i'll just see you next time bye